Welcome back to another video of the Hockey Nation Live Show with your hockey coach, Guru Coach Frenchy. We have a breaking news directly for the Columbus Blue Jacket. They signed Patrick Laney, the 24 years old, a contract of $8.7 million per year AAV. Four years contract, so GGV and ID is going to be there for a little bit longer than what we expected. And last season, you have 26 goals and 56 game and 56 points. Overall, have a good year with the Columbus Blue Jacket. We know he can score goal like anybody in this league. So let's dive in a little bit talking about more about Patrick Laney. For the next couple of minutes, guys, I'm going to give you a little bit more the analytic and that a profile for Patrick Laney. The 24 years old, shoot on the right, 6'5", 216 pounds. We know he was straight by the Winnipeg Jet to the Columbus a couple of years ago in return of Pierre-Luc Dubois. And last season, like I mentioned, 56 points in 56 game. He had a TOI or 18 minutes, 56 seconds per game. Pretty good season overall. Sometimes, you know, we know who he is. His inconsistency is really what he need to improve if he want to become one of the biggest star in NHL. This is coming from Jay Fresh. It's a little bit where we call the WAR. Give you an idea what it looked like. Of course, he played on the both side as a winger. He really recognized as a great one-timer on the power play. But that give you an idea. Even strength and offensive five versus five, that's not what he's doing really well uh, last season with the cannabis. Only 3% on defensive. Really not great on the defensive zone coverage. Still 24 years old, he can become better with time. Power play is at 44, that's recognized who he is. And is a finishing, right? 95%, that's a great thing. Gold per 60, 56. His primary assist is 51. He draw about 45% penalties, completion 90%, teammate 90. Not too bad. He had a better year last year compared to the year before. But again, he needs to improve one area of his game. It's really on the defensive zone. Let's dive in now for another graphic. This gives you another way. Overall, 31. Offensive, he produced. Defensive, that's what he struggled. And more on the even strength, like you can see. Opposite side, the statistically on the graphic of Patrick Laney. Now, what about this picture? Who we said a month ago, Johnny Goodrow is going to sign a UFA contract with a Columbus Blue Jacket. And Patrick Laney is going to sign a four years with a Columbus Unbelievable, the turnover, few weeks, this franchise is getting better and better. So let's move on now on the projection Columbus Blue Jacket. They are right now over cap, about $6 million. But look like what I heard today, a few minutes ago before recording, his first year contract is at 7.5. So we can drop a little bit the projected cap, cap space of Columbus. They have 25 players on the roster. But for me, the general manager, Yamo Kekalinen, need to make a move, or maybe two, to give that kind of under cap at the beginning of the season. Now, this is the look like the roster. Not that it will be perfectly the right one in October. But I'll give you an idea. Gudro, Roslovic, Laney on the first line. Second line, Nikwis. Jenner, Bijastrad, second line, third line, Sillinger, Chinakov, Voracek, third, four line, Corali, Tissier, and Robinson. And we could have one or two more rookies like Johnson join that team. Defense is Wierenski, Bovis, Kavrikov, Bean, and Gab Branson. Talking about possible Jerechek, just signed a new contract. ELC was drafted by the Columbus in 2022. My only concern about this roster guy for Columbus is really, I don't understand why they gave $4 million to Gab Branson. In my eyes, too much money about him. The goaltending is Merslikin and Copicello. Struggled for the last two years. 6.7 for both goaltenders. It's an average now in NHL. Below, by the way. So that's pretty good. But again, they are a little bit over the cap. Finally, this is a little bit more deep. You can take a time to check the, this graphic. It talks about last season, 2021. 
by the roster for this season, they cap it, and when they finish the contract, when they become an RFA or UFA, how they get them, then the statistically from the season 2021-2022. Here we go, guys. This is Patrick Laney. Again, great hockey players, talented, can score in any angle on the ice, a sniper, great shooter, accuracy, power, strength. It's not that zone the problem. Opening zone on defensive zone, that's why his biggest problem. But we can see the player improve with time. Jonathan Huberdo, two years ago, threw a goal. He's get better. Now, hopefully, with Roslovic and Goudreau as a line together, they have better on the defensive zone coverage. But again, great signature for the Columbus. They keep Laney for the next four years. Columbus Blue Jacket, a team we have to watch for the upcoming season. A team could maybe make the playoff. We'll see how they're going to play next season. This is Congo, guys. Another video of the Hockey Nation I show with your hockey coach, Guru Kofanshi. Before we leave, we remind you, don't forget, please, to click on the like, subscribe, and below this video, tell me what you think about the signature of RFA Patrick Lenny. Have an amazing, great, blessing day, everybody. <music>